Hello, and welcome to my first uh, tutorial video for automation. Uh, my name's Vito, and today's video is about setting up Selenium and TestNG and kind of writing our first test case. Um, we're going to kind of just dive into things. Hopefully this is one of many videos um, where I will just continually just keep adding to the project, kind of show them some little tips and tricks that I've learned. Um, in my experience um, in automation. So let's get started. Um, first off, um, we're going to be using Java and Eclipse. So I recommend downloading Eclipse, uh, preferably uh, something that has Maven built in, like Eclipse Kepler. Um, I will have the download link for you uh, in the below the video. Um, use this to, um, you know, install or download the correct one. Um, set to your OS. Um, <clears throat> once you get that installed, um, we're going to move forward and try to install TestNG. Um, to do this, uh, open Eclipse, um, go to the install new software, and here we're going to uh, use the TestNG URL. So I have that uh, below, below the video as well, so just paste that in. Um, doing this, you should see the test ng under name. Just check that box and click next. Do some calculations next. Um, uh, of course, you have to accept and click finish. This will install test ng. Um, also, make sure that you also have Java installed. Oh, warning comes up. Click OK. Yeah, make sure you have uh, the JDK installed. Just go to the Java website, install the latest JDK. Um, you do that as well. So, oh, yeah, we need to restart. It's my annoying backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I'm using just the default workspace. You can use whatever you uh, feel free to save wherever you need to. Once Eclipse is started back up for you, we're going to create our first Maven project. Um, we're gonna be, I'm using Maven because uh, it's really user friendly. Um, well, <laughs> for the most part, <laughs> it's really useful for building out your tests. Uh, good to kind of organize all of your um, libraries for Selenium and TestNG. Maybe if you want to do some stuff with Excel. You know, you, can do, you know, just you just have to add that in, and everything downloads for you. So to do this, right click, um, go to New, and go to Other. You're gonna look for uh, Maven folder, Maven project. Click that. Click Next. Um, we're just gonna create a simple project. Um, I'm using the default location. If you wanna, you know, have a location elsewhere, feel free to do so. Click next. Um, so for Maven, <coughs> um, you're gonna have a few things that you have to fill out. Uh, group ID. It's kind of like your main overall. Uh, what is it that you are? Um, uh, not really testing. Um, for, for group ID, it's usually for uh, they name things. For example, for Selenium, um, they have their website name. It's usually org, Selenium HQ, or Selenium, or in this case, testng would be org.testng. The artifact ID is usually just the, the project name, and then the versioning um, is you can set to whatever version. Um, so for this case, um, if you're say you're testing Facebook, com, you know, Facebook, uh, I probably the uh, I'm going to be testing nothing or Various things. So, com .vito tutorials is going to be mine. And my artifact ID, I'm just going to name this uh, Web Driver Tests. Um, the versioning, um, just keep as is and keep as jars. Um, we'll click uh, Finish. And boom, we should have your Maven and Java project. 
Uh, here you should have you know your four source folders, uh, two main, two tests, one Java, one resource, the other Java, the other resource. Um, this is kind of uh, this is all of my Java class files that I'm going to use for all the tests. Main, I usually put all of the things, say like data or utilities or kind of any kind of the things that will help help my tests. Um, you have the resources. That's where I usually put all my test uh, XMLs, which I'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, maybe if I have some kind of data for like an Excel sheet. I put that in kind of like my main resources. Uh, it's kind of a good organization um, tool to use. And you have your kind of Maven bread and butter, which is this pom.xml. And this is really wonderful for adding all kinds of different uh, oh, you know, variables or uh, setting up your know, sweet files. Um, what we're going to do right now with our pom file is we're going to set up uh, dependencies that we're going to use in our Selenium library and our testng library. So you're going to click add and I have them kind of written down already. So I'm just going to be copy pasting uh, a group ID uh, seleniumhq.org. The ar artifact ID I'm using is selenium-java and the reason I use selenium-java uh, for those who actually know of the different uh, artifacts that, that are used uh, this one incorporates a lot of a lot of other libraries um, that kind of go hand in hand with uh, working in, with Selenium and TestNG um, say like Logger is also incorporated here so um, this is for my personal preference I think this one seems to work the best for me um, and then we're going to do 2.37.0 this point is very important um, where you start getting an artifact error uh, so you should click OK. Um, we're going to add the second one, which is test ng. So just add those real quick. Test ng for artifact and 6.8. Just type that one in. 6.8. Click OK. Now we're going. So now that we have these um, added to our dependencies, these are actually being used in your project. These are kind of almost like a library that you kind of set aside, and if any time you want to add to your your project over here, um, you can do so, which we're going to do right now. So we're going to click Manage, um, and this is my project file over here, and I want to add these both. So Shift, click both of these, and click OK. They should be moved over, and you'll see that I am managing these. Um, and once that moved over, you can see over here in the Maven dependencies that a bunch of jar files have been added. Um, you know, we have Chrome driver, we have Android driver, uh, we have you know some HTTP. You know, we start doing some um, um, you know get some posts. Um, you, you can do all kinds of things here. Safari driver. So it's really really cool. Um, so now that we have our essentially our project all set up, um, we're going to dive into writing our first test. So let's write our first test case. Um, in this case, go to test Java and say new. Um, and I am going to set new class file. Um, for now, we're going to just do public static void. Make sure that's checked. And this one will be our um, first test. Click OK. So we have our first test. Um, so here I'm going to kind of go in some of the basics of, of Selenium and kind of do some basic functionalities. Um, first off is our most important is our driver. Um, so we're going to create a web driver. Web driver driver equals new and we're going to be using the Firefox driver. Oh, make sure you do have Firefox installed if you haven't. Um, if you're still using IE or Netscape, uh, I recommend <laughs> using something else. Um, so when you type this out you're going to see that there are errors. Um, that's because we haven't imported any of our Selenium libraries. So 
um, if you just hover over you should see this import web driver so we're going to do that here same import Firefox so what this will do is it will create a driver and here we can do all kinds of basic you know things driver uh, find element so we can find element on the page interact with that element um, you can do some kind of cool waits where you can wait for something to happen page loads all of that um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just do driver dot get and we're going to mess with uh, a very popular page facebook.com facebook.com so if I run this test right now um, what should happen uh, and then we're in driver.close running this test will create a new driver which will open the driver it will then open the page facebook.com and once the page opens it will then close the driver so you right click, run as, Java application. And it's thinking. And there you go. That's your <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. Facebook.com. Perfect. Um, once it's done loading, it should close. taking a little longer than anticipated um, so Akamai issues hopefully it's on Facebook's end uh, interesting there we go so that was kind of a quick basic you know open the driver you know, go to the page or close the driver. Um, so now, since we open the page, now we kind of want to interact with something. So first off, we should go to Facebook.com um, just to kind of get an idea of, of the page that we're going to mess with. Um, and here, you every element has you know you can is defined you know, through HTML and everything. But, so right here. You can see. Um, uh, oh, first uh, off, a thing we should do is install Firebug. Um, if you have not installed Firebug, I recommend doing that right now. Um, you go to Google, and we're gonna Firebug. Get Firebug, and I recommend downloading and installing this on your Firefox. This is you're a tool you're going to be using a lot, so I recommend installing that. And um, also another one would be uh, FirePath. Uh, FirePath is also good. Um, so it's something that adds on to Firebug, so I'm going to do that as well. Um, let's restart. And yeah, okay, yeah. If I hit F12, uh, you should see your firebug. Um, this would be super useful. So here we're just going to do some just really basic things. Um, we're going to interact in this case with uh, just finding the elements. Um, we're going to be doing a login test um, for start for starters. So you're going to click on the this little guy and this will highlight kind of all the different elements and it'll show you where it's located in the HTML um, so here click on the uh, element that you want to mess with um, and it should be highlighted um, if you go to firepath um, in CSS and you do the same thing again it will give you a uh, kind of an element uh, kind of location um, that we're going to be using so driver knows where to find these elements so in this case we're gonna, just going to copy this one and going to 
keep that and type driver find element and we're going to find it by dot CSS selector um, then we're going to put in email Boom. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to open the driver go to the page we're going to find the element um, we should probably store this element web element um, text box equals driver.find element. You're going to have to import this web element. So now we have a text box. Um, to verify that we've done something with text box, we're going to type in some keys. Text box dot uh, send keys. Um, and we're going to type in um, my login name. And we'll see that happen and then it will close the driver. So let's do that right now. Um, I'm going to right click, run as. So when this runs, we should see everything kind of happen. Hopefully quicker than last time. <laughs> there we go. Uh, if you saw that, um, I can play it one more time. Uh, it was in the notice in the top right. It uh, showed the my login name. Goes here, opens the page, finds the element, my login name. Boom. Um, and with with text box or with elements actually in general. You can do all kinds of things. You can get the size, the location, tag name, is it displayed, uh, all kinds of things. And we're going to dive into these later, um, so don't worry. We'll hopefully cover everything. Um, to go back to this uh, find element, there's many ways to find elements. Um, if you notice, um, let's create a driver dot find element by. By um, is kind of a, a, a lo locator, um, and you're going to choose the what you want to use. You can do it by class name, by selector, by XPath. Those are kind of the popular ones: XPath and CSS selector. I prefer CSS selector um, personally. Um, it seems it's easier uh, syntax for me. Um, you can go on to some tutorials about CSS selectors and using those. That's what I'm going to be using for most of my my projects. Um, so you'll probably start noticing out that's strictly what I'll use. Um, XPath is just as good, um, but CSS selector is kind of the thing I like to use. Um, now, um, now that we kind of got our first kind of idea of you know how things work. Um, we're going to start writing our first test case um, in TestNG, um, and I will be covering that in my next video. So thank you for watching, um, and talk to you next time. I don't want to talk to you. Listen to me next time. <laughs> All right.